When Tony sees the house in Walthamstow, her first concern is the lack of feng shui. The bin shouldn't be there, so we can improve that. Oh, now this is nice. What do you reckon? Both families open the door to their new life. OK. It looks tidy. It looks tidy. Oh, nice. Ooh. Shoes, 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 get shoes, 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 shoes off. The house needs a lot of work here. Pictures and photo albums in the lounge give them a first look at their host family. Oh, oh I love this. It's lovely pictures. We can see two girls and a boy. Look, I'm thinking this is the daughter. And there's another photo of her, which is smaller, maybe. Tony's used to a luxury kitchen. Not this week. Something is missing here. The house looks run down, which reminds Tony of her struggles. I just feel sad. Why? <laughs> because we've been there. <gasps> oh, that's Whoa. nice. Tony's left detailed instructions. She wants her guests to live life in her home as she does. Water machine, drink, 8.5 pH only, and do not drink any other drinks. What? This water <laughs> is amazing for your health. Tony also left some recipes for them to try. I wonder if they're Bulgarian then. Bulgarian cold cucumber, they are so, Bulgarian, yeah, right? I think so. Naomi's left a note. You need to top up the electric. Oh, boy. I had to patch it, the electric, the water, the gas in Bulgaria, and I know what it is. Naomi and family are exploring the upstairs bedrooms, all six of them. Have you missed the room? Did you ever imagine it would be anything like this? Yeah. You did? In Walthamstow, Tony and Diana are also checking out the upper floor. It definitely fits. In Naomi's room, Tony makes a welcome discovery. I think we've got another thing in common. She believes in God. So I like her already. But there's a problem. Mirrors facing the bed are against the design principles of feng shui. People are going to think my mum's nuts. Um, yeah, the crazy lady in action. Ico Bravo. Oh, this Wait, must oh, be what she does. Eco-friendly stuff. stuff. Yeah, that's why you named Eco Bravo. High five, well done. Both families know where they're living. Now to find out how much money they've got to spend. I'm not feeling very positive about this, but hey. One, two, three. I'm guessing millions. Sixty-two. 6233 1340 for a week. Yay! <laughs> How are you feeling about this? I'm feeling confident. Maybe could you bum my side? I'm going to ditch you. They've swapped budgets now to swap lives. Each house has an activities board for the week, telling them what they'll be doing. Oh boy. Baba. Is she Probably she is. That's interesting. And boxing. Oh, that would be fun. Horse oh, riding, yeah. I'm yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> Cook for a guest. Cooking for a guest, we can do that. PT session. Oh. Oh. Trip to Marshies. Oh. Can we Google that? Exciting. On each day of the swap, both families will record personal diaries. A camera has been fitted where privacy is guaranteed. This house needs a lot, a lot to be repaired and refurbished. It's really sad. My children have never, ever in their entire life seen anything like this unless it's been on the TV. So my mum got really emotional today, which actually made me quite emotional. Only thing I would say is that it's really warm upstairs. 